Well, uh, speaking of wrestling geniuses, there's nothing comes closer to genius than the one and the only Dave Meltzer, the guy who gets everything right and never gets anything wrong. Uh, just a few weeks ago, he sent out a tweet, and this is one of those ones that proves the massive intelligence of this man and uh, really something to be jealous of for the rest of our lives. Uh, he pointed out that The Rock, do uh, you know that guy? Yeah, I, I know a little bit about The Rock, yeah. He was in that Martin Scorsese film, uh, Baywatch. <laughs> and uh, Dave Meltzer pointed out that The Rock wasn't so much of a big deal uh, because The Rock did a lot of jobs. Uh, I, I I remember rereading that tweet and was like, yep, he said it. Uh, so what's your take on <laughs> Dave Meltzer basically hinting that The Rock who could be president, possibly the, the most famous person on earth today, was not that much of a big deal because of how many jobs he did. How, can, bro? Seriously, <laughs> like, how how can you even? For, first of all, bro, to think that is one thing. To publicly say that, wow, bro! Like, how I, I don't. How do you even have a discussion over something like that? This is the. This is the biggest star in the history of the business. Huge movie star, bro. Who knows what he's going to go on to do? And Dave Meltz is talking about him doing jobs in wrestling matches. I mean. Yeah, like if Meltzer doesn't watch his mouth, he's not going to get cast in uh, Baywatch 2. Yes, exactly. And exactly. that's, but my, my theory on that is, uh, as I'm sure you've probably heard the rumors that The Rock is coming back for an official retirement match against uh, Roman Reigns. And uh, that's going to be, like, <laughs> in, in my opinion, that's going to get a lot of media coverage. Uh, and I know that's one of my hot takes that people don't like. But, yes, I think that The Rock will get media attention. Uh, I think that because Meltzer's not on the AEW payroll, <laughs> not, that I think this is his way of trying to say, Oh, it's not that big a deal. Yeah, well, he, he he's never going to downplay that, bro. He, he he could try all he wants. It's absolutely ridiculous. What they really should try to do, bro, is, uh, and like, I, I think that's the route they're going to. The only issue I have with that is the WWE is so down right now. I actually think it hurts Rock's credibility. The thing I would do, bro, is I would use the influence of Rock to get Roman Reigns in a couple more movies first. Mm. So now all of a sudden when you got Reigns, now he's got, you know, a couple of movies under his belt and he's box office and people know who he is. Then you have the wrestling match between the two, because at that point, the WWE and wrestling doesn't even matter. Well, uh, I did hear that Roman Reigns was was cast uh, in Thor four, but uh, but they filmed it in Australia and he couldn't go because of uh, COVID travel restrictions. Bro, is that true? They're up to a Thor four. Yeah. So when he couldn't make it over, did they uh, did they sign Disco? Is Disco now the new <laughs> Thor? No, I said Thor, not uh, Wonder Woman. <laughs> But uh, yeah, they need to do that, bro. They he man, if he could have because then, bro, what you really got is now you got almost like Rock versus Vin Diesel. You see mm. what I'm saying? I, I think they need to establish uh, Reigns a little bit more as a movie star. Then, then that match will really mean. So I I can't, bro, with, with the roster the WWE has now and the numbers they're drawing. Rock doesn't need the freaking money. I I can't see him. I, I can't see him going to the WWE when they're drawing a million and a half people, bro. Well, uh, maybe, uh, well, we all know that The Rock won't go to AEW because he fears Kenny Omega. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>